the scripture. I'm about to go there tonight. The Holy yes, Spirit sir. just brought that to me. So we go in there now. I'm not gonna go there. We're going to Matthew 13 and 20. I was not gonna go there tonight. I didn't even know that we you want to talk to us about that. But that's where we're going. Some of us 
measure our growth or measure our stability or measure our rising in the kingdom by the measure of joy, happiness, excitement that we show or express. That's what we've been taught in charismatic churches. Been taught abroad, in, especially in, 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 in our our church, you know, us, us, you know, our church we call it. You know, you give the Lord praise. And, and uh, I can show you a sound, strong Christian by their praise, the, life, the lifestyle they, they, they rather praise. Well, if, if that's all I can show for is praise, or show that I have some type of growth, or that I have an understanding, or that I have a fruitful kingdom life, that, that, that I, I'm going to miss it and miss it big and quick. Or I'll start out on something and never ever see the glory that the kingdom has designed for me to have. Okay? Amen. Y'all with me now? We tracking tonight. Amen. So simply so, said, so, so the sower talks, 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 speaks, speaks, communicates, communicates. He can tell a story. He can tell a story. She can tell a story. She can tell a story. Okay? Amen. The, a sower can. Now I want to I want to paint this picture for you tonight by revelation and understanding so that you can understand uh, what Jesus is saying. I want you to see it from this perspective tonight because I believe that there are things in the scripture that are not written that's talking real loud. We're not hearing it, okay? Because he says, "Hear ye this, this parable of the sower." Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower, meaning the sower has something to say. Now I'm gonna give you an example right quick of 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 a, of, of seed I've sown, and if you call it, if you if you name the name of Christ, and you've been saved, and especially been called to ministry, and you have um been ordained and licensed, you know, as an elder or a, a pastor or an evangelist, a prophet, pop, apostle, you know, whatever the case may be, I want to I want to just, and I'm not about to toot my horn. I just want to show you something that the Holy Spirit showed me when I was on the way coming here that I didn't know he was going to use a particular text with to expound on. He said to me, he said, son, um, I, I purposely gave you an assignment that I knew was going to fail at least two times before I gave you manifestation of fruit from it. He said, I, 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 I had you to, to, to go and help a crackhead a while back who stole the truck, stole your, um, your, your laptop, your iPad, or whatever thing we had, sold it, pawned it, had you to go put them in a hotel and, 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 and pay all their household bills, um, make sure that he, he, um, his wife and, and their child had what they needed. Um, had you to counsel them and, and sit down. Only the whole time you know it, this man ain't about to do nothing you tell them to do. And not only not have you do it one time, two times, three times, or four times with the same person, only knowing that they were going to do them what, what they did. Only to let you get angry and blow off steam for a while to bring it back to you again and repeat the same cycle, knowing that this, this other person was not going to take to heart what I've, what I've caused, I'm, I'm giving you the ability to sow into their life. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was appearing to you as if your seed or my word that was being given to you was returning back to you and me both for it. Okay. He said, but I knew what it would take to make you angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew what it would take to get you upset. Uh -huh. Because yeah. you got to understand something. The same level of upset or anger that you got with yourself when you was down and out struggling with crack cocaine, I caused that to sit on you based on what how they rejected the mercy, the love, the fruitfulness, the sowing, the kindness. All these are works of the spirit. Right. Fruit of the spirit. Right. I caused you to sow these things and get angry about it because I needed you that when, when I sent the season for you to now sow, no longer in foul ground, but in good ground. I was going to allow the same things to show forth that show forth in those two up front. But I knew you had enough anger and tenacity and, and enough understanding now of what a sore 
the results of, of sowing should get every time they sow a seed. A sower, every time they sow a seed, their seed multiplies. He said, every time you were sowing a seed, it looked like it was returning back on board. He said, but what I was doing, I was multiplying the grace that causes seed to root and fall around. I'm preaching. I'm preaching already. See, some of you are in seasons of your life where it appears you are sowing into someone or sowing into something that, that they, it just ain't catching. They just ain't hearing me. They just ain't understanding what I'm doing. But the Lord says unto you, you what you're doing, you are sowing seeds of grace to be able to work and be multiplied in the next season that I tell you to sow in. If you would just have enough obedience, if you just have enough faith, if you just have enough understanding that when I tell you to sow again, baby, when I tell you to dig another well, baby, you just follow me by, by the understanding that, look, if you would have faith for now, I would cause your seed to multiply. Yeah. Somebody say, I'm ready, I'm ready for my seed, for my seed to, multiply. to multiply. Multiplication upon multiplication. Faith to faith. Faith to faith, baby. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. The soul is getting ready to talk now. The soul is getting ready to talk. Come on. Amen. The Lord told me to tell you tonight, he said, if you have not yet multiplied the, rep the replica of yourself, so far in the kingdom, open your heart up and let him scrape the crust, the rustiness, the, the, the hardness of your earth, the hardness of your of your soil, and let him and let him pour some 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 some, some moisturizer of, of, of water and lubricant and, and fertilize into you. Because there's no way you can save all your, all your life. And you you can't you can't go stand in front of somebody in the church and see that that was once you. Yes. And they can look back at you and say, hold up. I'm only here because, of course, by the grace of God. But I can tell you that if it had not been for this person sold into my life, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't be here. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't be here. And until the body of Christ understands that, we're going to be falling short just seeking after things that never ever obtain to the knowledge of the truth. I'm preaching already. Amen. And I know why it's fine, because you're searching for, for yourself in, around you, and you don't see yourself. You don't see yourself. You know why you don't see yourself? Because you are ashamed of the gospel of yours. Because you thought when Paul said, for I, in Romans um, 1 and 16, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation. You thought he was talking about these scriptures right here. No, he talked about that in the first manifestation state of it. But you are a written epistle. You in me. So that men and women can read about us. He didn't write the whole chapter of, of Romans um, um, 8. And, and put this fine verse that says that up until now the whole creation is growing in the morning for the true son the God of God to, to, to manifest themselves. So you can sit and look pretty and show people that you can prophesy and show people that you can you can you can you can, you can, can, can write this and do that. Tell me what this is about. There's a you sitting so late stuck waiting for the real you to stop trying to act like you this big have somebody and just say, you know what? I can build a, 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 a hidden side hole. Yep. <laughs> and when she comes to the door, instead of you see her mess and try to stay away from it, you run to it and say, oh, baby, let me, let, me, let, me, let me pour into your life for a moment. Let me sow a seed into you. See, that's what, that's, what, that's what your parable should look like as a solo. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Come on. Come on, you ready? Don't want this. Come on, yes, you do. Come on. You don't want this type of teaching. Yes, come on. Yes. Yes. We're here to make disciples. Yes. Not money. Right. Yeah. Money gonna come. I can promise you that. Oh yeah. It's gonna come. All you gotta do is line up the principles of the kingdom, and the money gonna come. Yeah. Amen. He didn't tell Peter enough. I'm gonna make you fishers of fish. He said, You are not do that. I'm making fishers of men. Show me your men that you done talk. Facebook, y'all with me tonight. Y'all want to, y'all want to, um, 
become a sower that, that has a parable to talk about. That your sowing begins to grab voice and talk so that the, the hearers of, of, of or the listeners of, of what the sower you is saying will, will, will have an ear to hear and listen so their life can change and manifest into what the kingdom of God says it's supposed to become. It has got quiet up in hell. It has got mouse quiet again. Let's read on. I ain't go with that much in verse 18. Wow. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Now I want you to take an account tonight and, 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 and find out where you sit or sit at in the kingdom. All of you that's in here tonight, I want you to take an account of truth and measure and, and, and truly measure your own life and your own heart and ask yourself. Or ask, or ask, and ask yourself to show yourself where you are seated at in the kingdom. Are you seated on the, in the, on the wayside or are you truly seated on, in the fullness of the kingdom? And, it, and it's easy to find out. Because the Bible says, when, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it is not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. So, this is he that receives seed by the wayside. So if you if you sit here looking like a deer in headlights already, like you don't have an understanding of what the Lord has just been saying for these past um, 18 minutes, then you're on the wayside. Yes. That's where you're sitting at. This ain't hard to figure out. Yes. But he that received the seed received the seed in the stony place, the same as he that heareth the word, and Adam with joy received it, yet he had no root in himself, but during for a while, when tribulation and persecution arises because of the word, by and by he's offended. He also, by and by he's offended, so let's stop there for a moment. Because whether you want to believe this or not, this way about 99.9% of the body of Christ is right now. When it comes to receiving a word from the Lord. And I'm only going to prove it to you so that you can you can you can take the magnifying glass or the ruler of, of, of the, the ruler of, of the measurements of, of faith or the measurements of the kingdom and measure yourself tonight or the scales of the kingdom and put yourself on them so that you can now say, hold up. This is where I am. Now how do I not stay in this place, but get to the place where I bring forth fruit. Because I, I, we're just in part number two of this parable. And I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit has told me, about 99.9% .9 of the body of Christ is in part two. And I'm going to show you why he told me to say that. Because how many times, and here comes the scale, put the scales out in your heart right now. How many times have you started something it relates to a business or it relates to um, a task or an assignment. And then as soon as tribulation or, or, or trial or testing or per persecution arises in your life, you immediately stop. Let me, let me help you with some scriptures, folks. So, so, because so, I, I need to break, break some. I'm, I'm about to pull out my. Um, I was coming in here with a little, um, with a little spade, um, hole, tools. Got to my garden tree. Come out and come and see me up. That's how they do this thing. To my garden tree. Yeah, no. I, I came in here with, with, a, with a little hole and a little shovel. Right. And the Lord told me, He said, "Son, go pull out the, the, the big turbine, um, 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 30, 30, 3800 horsepower, the thirty-eight thousand horsepower, um, tractor." And put some real tough um, stuff in, on, on blades in the ground that, that measure about eight feet deep mm -hmm. and plow this ground real quick. Right. And he told me to give you two scriptures real quick. Okay. Right. That's about to plow some ground with your heart so it get you to become receptive of what this word is saying. Because you're trying to like, you ain't, this, this ain't you. But the Holy Spirit is saying, this is you. Yeah. You know this is you. Because yeah. you get excited. 
nothing about when you about what you heard. You just started, and then as soon as it is, it is, it is, it is a test come, or, or you go down to the Secretary of State office and they tell you, well, no, you can't do that. Oh, man, does the devil know exactly what he hit you with? You 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 get ready to go get a loan, and they tell you no. You just stop in your tracks and just throw it on the side and say, "I wasn't supposed to be ready in the first place. I didn't hear God." Really? He 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 being mean tonight. No, I'm not. I'm 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 hitting you exactly where he gonna hit you at. But I'm not gonna leave it. I'm gonna give you something to fight with. Now let's go to the book of John right quick. Keep your finger on that. We're going to turn. Right now, all we're doing is, is, is up in the end. I'm putting the little garden tools up, and I'm going to get my big turbine tractor to, to plow me with that way. Okay? Amen. Somebody say, plow me, Holy Spirit. Plow me, Holy Spirit. He's going to plow me, too. Amen. Amen. Turn to John chapter 15, and then we're going to turn to um, John chapter um, um, 16, one chapter over. John 16. John, I mean John 15, verse 7 and 8. We want to John 16, verse um Okay, no, my bad. They're the same chapter. Same chapter. Just verse 7, 8. And then we're going to read verse 15, 16, and 17. You ready? Amen. Let's go. If you're abiding me and my words are abiding you, you shall act what you will, and it shall be done unto you. You see, you see, you see the connection here? This is how you get anything you want from the Father. You just simply abide in him. What are you abiding in? His word. His instructions. His revelations. His promptings. His don't do that. His come over here. So the moment you get a word from him that you don't agree with, you just stop abiding. Right. Yes. The moment you get re resistance Towards what mm -hmm. he telling you to go do, mm -hmm. and you let that resistance cause you to stop, you just stop abiding. Mm -hmm. The moment you start the business and you launch it, okay. and it ain't been doing what you think it's supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and you put it down and say, I'm, I'm done with that, don't keep working, don't keep, you know, before, keep before the Lord, you just stop abiding. If he, if, he, if he told you to do something, right. his stuff will return back to him void. Mm -hmm. But the only way that happens, that word has to stay abiding in you, and you have to stay abiding in that word. Right. Right. So if I was you all, because I've heard a whole lot of stuff that they'll float around mm -hmm. saying, this is what I'm about to start, this is what I'm about to do. If I was any of you, I would do what I did. The moment I got a great idea about what I thought was I should be doing, some of it I started it, and I said, oh, stop, let me, let me back up a moment. And I put it on the, on the table of, 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 the, of the kingdom, and I let the Lord talk to me about it for, for, for a little while. I bathed in prayer. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting old time and spiritual with you for a moment. I bathed in prayer. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I sought scripture for it. I went and made sure that, that the Holy Spirit was lining up for, for my destiny and for my life. Because some of the things that I tried to put out there when I was when I was young was, was for a long time in the first place. God said, no, we ain't doing that right now. And some of you are going back picking up things when God told you to do it in your 20s. And now you're trying to do it in, in, in your late 50s. And God said, no, that time I passed you. 
Because a lot of y'all don't think that 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 that, that time um, means anything. It means everything. And I promise you one thing: time and money are the same. So if you can quit saying money is time and time is money, they're not the same. Money is money and time is time. Amen. And when you get that understanding, you will understand that I'm not eager to make money alone. And you will have an understanding. Look, if if the grace was fun, because understand something: the only way you and I are going to do anything. In the kingdom, we have to have two accompanying things that with us. Grace and truth. And if you don't understand that anything that God tells you to go do is done by those two things, you might want to stop right now. That's what keeps you abiding. Somebody said, what keeps me abiding? What keeps me abiding? In God's released word. In God's released word. In God's received word. In God's received word. Of my heart. Of my heart. Understanding. Understanding. That it should be kept. That it should be kept. By and in. By and in. Grace and truth. Grace and truth. We're going to go there in a moment too. Just hold on. Amen. Now let's read the scripture. Verse 8. Here it is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit. So should be my disciples. So you be on the side. So we bear fruit to the degree that we are bearing fruit in what God told us to do. Show that we truly heard the Lord that we be, we be following Him, following Him correctly because we are disciples. Disciples, the, the, the disciples of all, they manifested the same gifts and callings that they just like Jesus did. Right. They did. On the day of Pentecost, you saw them do what the Lord did. I can show you in scripture where Peter went and did everything that God, Jesus did. Raised him from the dead, opened blind eyes, all that. Because he was a disciple. He was continuing in the word until he did. He had an assignment that he chose to let go. And he thought they didn't have an expiration date on it. So Jesus would constantly come to him and keep telling him, hey, you love me? If you let people she feed them, feed them. And Peter thought that, he, that, the, that the sheep feeding was only located, was only was only set for one location, and that was Jerusalem. And Judea. But he would hear and see that, that the Lord had a plan to take this thing to the other parts of the earth, which God had told him that. And that meant to the Gentiles. But by the time Peter, you know, Jesus got said, you know what? We, I'm done with that. We I done chose somebody else now. So you need to ask yourself now, hold up. Or better yet, don't ask yourself nothing. Ask the Lord, Holy Spirit, is what I'm about to um, do that I'm asking you to bless, asking you to um, manifest and move forward. It, do, am I am I accompanied with your grace and truth with this thing? Because if I'm not, I'm not going to glorify you because I won't bear any fruit. And if you don't have the compassion within you to at least pray that prayer, you are proud with God. And you say, what you want to say about that? I'm just telling you where you at. Because yeah. yeah. you ain't going to rise on your own. If, he, if you don't have great, the spirit of grace and truth, and what is, what, what is that? Grace is the power of God, the ability of God, the means of God to accomplish and do whatever God told you to do. The truth is that I, that I know I heard God say do this. That's the truth of it. Meaning, anytime I'm faced with an opposition that tells me that, 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 that I can't get this or I can't have this or I can't do it, I go back to the truth. What truth are you standing on? Do you have a true word of, from God? Or do you have a prophecy that, that tickled your fancy and added with joy? You got excited. I'm proud of that now. Now let's go to uh, verses 15, 16, and 17. I'm going to teach you right. I ain't going to get you excited and pumped up. Because I want to see something happen in your life. I'd rather see something that's going to remain in your life. Because I know to the degree that it remains, to the degree that you, that, 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 that you stay grounded. Amen. I don't need you excited because for the first three months you, you bought in some revenue and then you didn't know that 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 that, 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 that just like um, Pharaoh, that, that you had a dream one night and God showed you some, some, some fat cows and some, and some skinny cows and the fat cow got, uh, ate up the, uh, got eaten by the skinny cow and you talking about you didn't know what that was and he started speaking. Keep speaking to you and telling you that, that you about to have uh, seven years of, of plenty and seven years of famine. And you didn't have a clue what it was talking about because you don't know God the way God talks to you. 
You don't have a clue how he talks to you. So when the preacher up here saying, be careful how you hear, you don't care about that. You just get excited to go, oh, he, that's a deep word, powerful. And God started trying to communicate something to you. That's plain and simple. That'll keep you grounded. That if you know that you got seven years time, seven of, 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 of goodness coming, and, and seven more years time of, of, of bad years coming, if you'll say, Holy Spirit, go, give me a plan, either of exit or a plan of how to lay low and make this thing and still thrive. Because God, I know that, that even though maybe a family in the whole world, you make sure life is in me, I'm going to That's why you need truth. Because the truth of God's word was indulgent. When the lie was everywhere else. Y'all don't like this thing. I have to lie. That told you a little vision of the already did it. If you ever, well, if you ain't getting God, but tear it up. No, see, see, no, see, see, see. This, this is why. This is why he told me to teach this. Because I'm not powerful to the point that, that if, the, if a man or woman of God come and tell me that I have something I know I didn't do, I can't look immediately. Because you already know whether you went before God or not and ask him, should you do this or not? But because you're going down, because you're broadcasting for everybody, you want to hold on to something that you know you went before God with. And I'm, I'm not that kind of person. If I get a word of knowledge and love, because you understand something. Why would I tell, why would God have you to go pick up something that he has left time on? Yeah. When he has something that, that if you pick up right now, if you listen to him right now and pick something up, that he wants you to pick up, that he has uh, provided grace and truth and an abundance on right now, why would I not want to find out what that right, right now is? Right. Okay. I don't care what I done wrote. I don't care what I done broadcast. Okay. I'm going to tear it up and say, God, have for me. Amen. 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 Yes. Let me have something. King David in, 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 in 2 Samuel the 15th chapter. You can turn it. I got I to keep going. King David says this. You know, let's turn it real quick. Let's, let's turn it real quick. Before we go, let's, 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 no, we're going to have this right go to, go to 2 King, 2, 2 Samuel 15. Chapter 15. I'm going to give the verse in a moment. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. See, that's why I wanted to just tell you about it. You want to look it up. I don't want to read all of this, but let's go down to um, verse um, 
but it's still pronounced the same. Kentola. So we say Kentola. It's the place where Jesus crosses over to get to the garden to start a lack of letting go of what he thought was supposed to happen. Somebody said Kentola. Jesus is represent David here is representing what the Christ later on, the Messiah, has to do later on. Right here, David is, is under attack by his own son, his own family, his own bloodline. Has come in and not attempted to take away the kingdom from him, but has taken the rule, taken the hearts of the people, taken the kingdom. And David makes a bold statement and says this. He says, no, I'm not about to sit there and fight for this. If God gave me this kingdom to rule, I'm going to cross over Kidron and leave. I'm going to put enough space between me and this city, me and my, me, 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 me and my, and my business, me and my dream. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Kidron for a moment. And I'm and, 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 and I'm and gonna leave this, this, this vision and dream over here with the priest. You stay here, priest, and y'all y'all stay here and let, and let Absalom well. And if God will show me favor that He still kept me as king, He'll bring me back again. I'm preaching already. Some of you need to take what you done wrote down, take what you got before you, and, and, and say, God, you know what? I'm gonna leave this here on the altar. And I'm going to go on across Kidron. And what is Kidron mean? I'm going to go to the place of prayer. When Jesus went over into the, across Kidron, he left from all his manifestation of what he could do, what he did do, how many people he raised from the dead. Because now, it ain't about who he can raise from the dead. It's about him having enough trust in the, in the Father. Can the Father raise him from the dead? I'm preaching. I'm preaching. But you bought the lip of her he told me to plow over through that lip. <laughs> plow through it. That's what I aim to do too. Amen. I'll put everything on the altar so, so, so God can say, you know what, son? If I gave this to you, and if you missed the moment, but I still need this to be done through by the body, I already need time for you. Amen. See, see, I'm, see, God ain't telling you to just cast it away. He's saying, he's saying, cross kids wrong with me. Bring this thing to me. Jesus. And, and, and meet me in the garden Lord, and let me tell, let me see whether or not if, if, if you truly have an ear to hear. My God, my God. What the Spirit is saying. Yeah. You yeah. truly have an ear. Because we have an ear, you, you, you say, you know what? I like that this, this, and that. But 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 his grace and truth, and I don't give grace and truth, Lord. I know I didn't do that the right way. So God, you know what? I'm going to cross over kids right this evening right here. And if, if it receives it, then you do raise it from the dead. Amen. 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 Now you go home and you study that for yourself. I got to keep plowing. I got to keep plowing. I got to keep plowing. I don't, I, don't, I don't need folk following me who, who started out good mm -hmm. and then soon a test or temptation or a trial or, or, or a tribulation show up and then I say, hey, how are you going? Oh, Pastor, you know, pray for me because I don't man, get out of my face. Amen. Amen. Okay. And then God looked at me and said, well, I told you to tell them to come see me about that. Yeah. And you didn't do that. He would not have that conversation with me. Oh. I'm going to tell you about it. I don't care if you mad at me. At least you can say, you know what? Apostle did try to tell me. He wasn't trying to tell me not to do something. He was simply saying, go back and ask God and see what God really has for you to do. No, see, no, no difference. Quit, quit, quit just hearing me and listen to the work of the Holy Spirit that that's using me to talk. And you'll realize, I'm not telling you to throw nothing down. I'm telling you to go find out if that's what God said. That's all I've been saying the whole time. Amen. 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 Oh, you want to just take the word of what somebody else told you over and over what God, what, what, what God has the ability to, 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 to clear to clarify with you. Come on, y'all. Yes. Lord help us tonight. Let's go to verse 15, back to um, John 15. 
We're going to 15, 16, and 17. I have no problem with listening to my father tell me that the season's done, the sun done went down, and we in a new day, a new morning, or he wants me to start over fresh. Or what. I have no problem with none of that. Because I'm going to take my orders from him. Amen. And when I know I got a word of grace and truth, I know it'll, it'll stand the test of time, the test of trial, the, tr the test of my frustrations, the test of criticism. No, because see, I'm going to tell you something. And, I, and I, I'm, not, I'm not picking on nobody now. I want you to hear something now. You, 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 you got nothing to break something down to you now. Just because your food tastes good to you and your family, don't mean it's going to taste good to the public you got to serve it to right. and sell it to. And so if they come in and then God grants you to meet with somebody who says, oh, I'm bad, uh, right. you know, if you put a little um, nutmeg in this thing and a little thin yeah. and take all that butter out of it, mm -hmm. I need mean, to have the I see, see, you know exactly where they at. Not servant, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Uh oh, hold up. You mean tell me, if you're not a servant, you know what God has to get ready to do for you? Or what he has done for you? Let me help, let me help the Holy Spirit. He say, after this, after you learn how to abide with me and abide in me, I can no longer call you a servant. Because by this point, by you abiding in me and with me and willing to, willing to cast aside those stuff and, and find out if I'm really the one saying this, it gives you the ability now to know what, 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 what I already said in honor for you. It gives you the ability to know what I'm doing. Right? Is that not what I'm saying here? But I have called you friends. In other words, you went from, from serving me to, to, to not walking alongside me, and I'm showing you, I'm treating you like a friend, and I can let you on the inside scoop now about your life. Amen. You see it? Yeah. Amen. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have, have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Let me give you that, give you that word ordained you. Man, I have, I have went and, and co signed everything you might do. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. How can God co-sign everything he told me you about to go do? Because he ordained it. You know why he going to do that? Because he knows I will co-sign what you understand I've done. But if you don't have an understanding of what I've done, and you want to bring me your ideas of what you want, I can't sign for that, baby. I can't buy for that. Because my word always prosper for what I said it to. Your word comes back forward. Amen. You quit on your word when you get tired. My word will give you stamina and strength yeah. to endure to the end. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I'm preaching. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And why is he on? Why is he the general um 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 um, um co signer or, or, or legalizing what you're doing? Because he says, you know what? You gotta do something for me. I'm doing this so that you can bring forth much fruit. And that your fruit should last, remain. Now, and that they're going to stay on this hand like that out again. Mm -hmm. What is it that you, that God, that you know God told you to do? You can, because you got tired and burned out, or, 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 or you just gave it up on it. What is it? Where have you, where have you just decided to walk away from something God told you to do? Where is the fruit that remains? Because see, understand something. I'm going to bring something down to you right quick. A pine tree, I can find one in the end of the earth. Because God told the tree to bear from their own kind. Right? Amen. Although that first tree that, that came up may not be on the earth no longer, it's seed is. Because somewhere down the line, that pine tree had enough humility of itself to ask God, how do I make this remain in the earth? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not a train of the folk to do what you doing? Maybe it's now to go and, 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 and let other folks on investing or come to the franchise now so it can remain in the earth. Mm -hmm. 
The sad thing about most businesses and most, most ministries is going to end with the, with, with, with the pioneer. The one who, st who started it. Especially in our community. It ends with the pioneer. I'm not trying to put this man of God on blast, and I'm going to call his name. Um, I watched this great teacher of the word after his plane crash. All of a sudden, I was, I was with him, his wife, his immediate staff, all day. And I watched his children. And what was left? Say this right here. What are we going to do? What do you mean what you're going to do? What do you mean what you're going to do? All that teaching he was doing, that everybody else got? Mm -hmm. And you were in the same house with him? Yeah. Not just be in the same church, but you speak with him. He raised you up too. He, he, you had his table. He put him. And you and your, your, your first response is, what are we going to do? And I, I'm not being heartless and silly, but I understand, you know, you, 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 uh, what are we going to do? Don't let that be what it said after you gone. About what you started yeah. from the folk that was following you, mm -hmm. and they gotta say, "What are we gonna do?" Mm -hmm. If you started something and you and and you can't see as far as what I just told you just now, you better you better tear it up and start over, because God ain't about to have something that He gonna give you and just make it down with you. Look in the Bible; that ain't His character. Amen. He told Abraham, "What he told him? I'm blessed." You better get that in your spirit. Amen. Woo. Be a blessing. So that means I, I better not die with Taylor May in me. I better not take to the grave. I better not take time to the grave. And I better not take to the visit to the grave. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Better not do that one. God shot my head off. And when he told me when I was in prison, he said, son, you know, I'm telling you, God showed me. He said, son, you're going to have a company that's so vast, you're going to have an office in New York, South Carolina, Miami, Houston, Dallas, Texas, Chicago, Illinois. He was just showing them Hawaii, Japan. That's going to happen. Now, I want to say this. I went real hard trying to make it happen. He had to realize more, so now he did. <laughs> it's more generations into this thing. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I had to realize it's more generations. I got seed in me. Yeah. That I learned that they came out of me already. You know what I'm saying? And then they got seed in them. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't try to make it all happen in my, in my time. But if I put, if I, if I, if I, if I give you some good ground and, 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 and plow up that, that fellow ground that's in my, in my seed and get them to understand, now my seed, see, now my seed to communicate to the parable.
He says this, I'm still in verse 16, I believe. And that you should put your remain that whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things are command you that you love one another. That's one way you're going to be able to, to um, allow your vision or your business to remain in the earth. You got to love the person that you got to give it to. Because okay. Abraham loved Isaac. Mm -hmm. Isaac showed love, Jacob. Mm -hmm. And we know Jacob loved Joseph. <laughs> his love his love was so great for him, he got to put it in, 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 a, in, a, in a ditch yeah. or in a pit. Mm -hmm. That's how you determine how much love you got or how much love or how much power is in the, is, 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 is going forth in, your, in from your vision. When, 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 when the vision that you got in you, that you, that you cast it out to your seed, would cause your seed to be placed in a pit. Mm -hmm. See, y'all got to look at this thing the wrong way. Y'all think because I'm in a pit that it's over. No, no see, it's a pit I'm enduring right now that he won't have to never endure. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. That's what pioneers understand. Mm -hmm. Pioneers understand I, I, if I got to start in a pit, Baby, I'm coming, I ain't remaining the pit, I'm coming out. Right, right, right. But when I come out, I want to make sure that I, have, I come out with favor, I come out with grace, I come out with authority, I come out, I come out with blessing, because there are things that come for me to accomplish and achieve in this time that I have to understand what those are. So I can't rush the, 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 the process of the pit. Amen. Amen. You, can't rush, you can't rush that. And 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 come and you know, God forbid, what is, what is your next up de destination after the pit is the prison? Because mm -hmm. here was when he, when he went to Pilate's house for a little bit. And you can't even get comfortable. See, you can't even get comfortable when you're in seasons of increase in blessing and favor in your business. Why? Because the, the, the Bible shows us that it ain't always going to be that way. Mm -hmm. Joseph had great favor and blessing while he was at home with his daddy. Great favor and blessing while he was home with his brother. But sometimes that great favor and blessing shows forth the jealousy and the hatred of the parents that's around you. And the parents that's around you, what, 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 they ain't even done the pit. They found the pit. Cast them into it. But look how much favor and blessing was on his life. Because he kept believing that God was the one that called him. He stayed true to what God said. He held up to his dream because he knew that God gave it to him. It wasn't something that he just could conquer and came up with. No, he knew God gave his thing. So he was in the pit still dreaming. Amen. And when he came out of the pit, he understood that although I, I got it made in the shade of Paul's house, I ain't about to relax. And he didn't get caught with the whoop by Paul's wife. He said, you know what? It don't matter, baby. Throw me in jail. I don't care. God bless me and thank me there too. And but that's the problem. You get started in something, and, and, and as soon as little, little tribulation and stuff come because of the word. Man, I ain't got time to do a little girl. God thinking about me one day. What you do? What you do? Joseph said, man, uh -huh. I'm going to stay right there. He was able to communicate his blessing, his, his, his gift. Even while he was in prison. And he didn't, he didn't get mad because the person that he had read overlooked him when the time came. Forgot about him. His, 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 the soul on his seed was, was speaking for him. Prophesying his future. But he had something to lean on his channel. He had the truth of God's word in him. Amen. Amen. So he went and he, he was able to, to go through the rough times of the prison. And at the right moment, he understood this, this time to get out of here now. Last time to rain. I'm not telling you to, to throw down nothing. I'm telling you to, to have enough humility within yourself to take what God has given you, or take what you think God has given you, or take what you thought you don't even know God gave you, and, and cross kids with it. Cross, cross with it. And get on that garden. And let him make you, and let's see if he can raise you up after you die. That's how we know. Yeah. Let's be playing with it. That's how we know. Yeah. I've been a kid for plenty of times in my business. Mm -hmm. It got, it got, it got, it got slow, and the Holy Spirit said, "Cross kids." That's what we're going about. He said, "Go back and work with a man who you who gave you a job right before you started your business." Yes, sir. I hold myself down, 
Amen, amen. You got a job for me, I can't work. Man, I can't pay you for the money. What if you pay me? I got to take care of my family. You know, I need nine dollars an hour. I just left for making um about four or five grand on me. Now he's about to pay me nine dollars an hour. I said, let's go. And I went in there and I painted like I was doing it to myself. I keep up doing it. I mean, he's like, God, dog, what? He said, man, you're doing this job like it's your very own. I said, it is. Because I ain't going to be here long. But I'm going to serve you. Like, 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 just, just, just like I'm going to people to serve me. Amen. When the time comes. Amen. Next thing I know, I'm back out there again. Rough time comes. He said, I said, God, what are we doing now? He said, go, go back to this fellow right here, the one that, 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 that taught you this here when you was, when you was out there learning. God, I just saw him last week, and two last month, and, and he was bragging about how good I'm doing. He said, come on up, I got this why I had you to see him. Because he, 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 he honored the fact that you, that you made it to that level, but now I want you to humble yourself enough. I touched his heart. I, I turned his heart towards you. That's what that's to mean, that he would, he would turn the heart of King towards you. It don't mean he's going to change somebody's mind about you, you praying to him tomorrow. You're you, you, you going to change your mind about me. You're going to love me. You ain't what that means. So to see by engaging the conversation with him and saying, man, the Lord is with me. This is how I got my man. This is the next one. Boom, break the heart from it. And I went before God. I had to make him out before God. He said, go, go call him up. God, call him up. I, I turned his heart towards you. All based on that conversation in your head, which you thought was meant to shame you, was meant to, to turn a person's heart towards you. Know the difference. Yes. See, God ain't placed you with some, some jangling joker. He placed you with somebody who got real testimony. Yeah. Real testimony. Yeah. If I can look in your face and tell you, take what you say you got from God and go find out who died from God. Amen. For real, for real. Amen. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits by the spirit right. to see whether or not it be of God. And guess what? You and I are spirits. Amen. Try yourself by the Holy Spirit. And if you ain't willing to do that right now, you pride. Stand to your feet. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You want to try the Lord? Thank you, the Spirit by the Spirit, start, start with yourself. Let's see if, 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 if what you say you're supposed to be doing is really from the Holy Spirit or not. Get the firm. I ain't telling you to throw nothing away. I'm telling you to, to, to line up with the biblical principles of the kingdom that you can bear fruit and your fruit will remain. That's what I'm asking you to do. Because yeah. that's what I've done and that's what I'm constantly doing. Yeah. I have to go back and repent to, to my church folk and, and, and the other people. In 2013, God, God sent an apostle from Carmen that we had just met down here who anointed these grounds and told us he would give us this, 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 this building. Prior, after that, there was a government, an older, older gentleman lived on the street right here. He came in this church and he stood out and waited on me. He said, the pastor. I said, yes, sir. He said, Lord, I told me, I've been praying for a church to be here. And you hear, he told me, tell you, don't you worry about that. You ain't growing right now, but you're going to grow, son. This church going to grow. And God said, he gave all this to you. It's yours. And the man left. I ain't seen the man since then. And so I got angry. I got upset. The thing wasn't moving like it was. And they took me jacked the rent up on me. I got mad. And I went, went to looking for another place. Big and better than this one. We're going to shake the earth. Nice community. Nice place. And God let me, let me walk right into it, too. And I'm, I'm going to him every day for him. Fasting. Seeking his face for him. He said, what? Huh? I done told you what I had for you. You want to come to me and ask this here? Go and do it. See, a lot of y'all think it's God allowed you to do something. Yeah. And that's God. Yeah. Well, you better remember what he told you from the beginning. Yeah. That's how God went. Yeah. I had to repent. Mm -hmm. And I got free, but I done, I done told God, I said, God, I'm, I, I'm tired of you showing me what somebody else been at you along with me. You show them. They know your voice. You show, you show them that they make the same mistake I made. You show them. But if you tell me to go back, tell them again, I will now. You know I know they will. Because maybe he's trying to break something in me. Or I always get mad when I know I heard God's voice for a person. But I get angry when I'm trying to tell you what I know God told me to tell you. And I know you ain't even going to listen to me. I get mad. I get mad that you ain't God. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm 
God, you, you know they weren't going to listen to me. You tell me to go anywhere. Go. Okay, whatever. That's what I do. But he don't stop talking to me. But I'm telling you right now, God, quit, quit asking God to help you because he don't, that's not, he don't do that. He humiliates you. He tells you, he encourages you to humble yourself. He will make you like a clown too. A, a stone, pale faced clown. He will. Amen. I'm going to plenty of them. Don't like that one too tough. Amen. 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 People ought to call a clown too. Amen. <laughs> Listen. You may get no more. I, I got to be obedient. You can get them back I, 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 I got to be obedient. I can't. Um, I, ain't, I ain't going to let me in this right now.
His, the voice became his ear. The voice became Moses' ear. His vow communicated between God and the God. So if, you, if you're here tonight, you want to, to develop your ear. That God can use and minister to you and show you what he has for you so you can quit tripping on your own self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right when you're at, we get to the right when you're at, bow within yourself. Bow within yourself. Learn how to bow within yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning, humble yourself enough right now and say, Lord, I'm here I am. Lord, here Tonight. Tonight. I want to know when you're speaking to me. I want to know what position. This isn't hard, God. This is hard, God. Because you declare that I'm one of your sheep. And I know your voice. And I know your voice. If your voice comes from a cat. If your voice comes from a cat. If your voice comes from your word. If your voice comes from your word. If your voice comes from a dream. If your voice comes from a dream. Whatever your voice comes from. Whatever your voice comes from. I will have it here. I will have it here. And I will hear. And I will hear what it is. What it is. The spirit. The Spirit is saying to me. Is saying to me. I thank you now. I thank you now. And I receive it. And I receive it. The benefits. The benefits of what your word says. Of what your word says. I can have. I can have. So that I can bear much fruit. So that I can bear much fruit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let, me, let me show you what you're gonna do real quickly because we gotta go. I'm gonna run over. You're gonna have a challenge. You really are. And when that challenge comes, you see yourself fighting against the Holy Spirit, just stop saying, Holy Spirit, forget how I repent. Amen. Amen. When you see your mind trying to go somewhere else, or what, just, just stop. Stop. Just stop it and say, Holy Spirit, I repent. Because yeah. your mind will take you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mind will run down the day. Mm -hmm. Run down the day. Run down the day. And I got to pack up. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Help me, man. It is easy. But I'm going to tell you now, it's requiring you to come and sing and abide in the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Father, we thank you tonight for the grace and thank you for the word that went forth. We thank you, Lord God, for the people of God that have uh, 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 opened up our spirits, Lord with Jesus. They have been made aware, and not just made aware, but they've been equipped to do better and accomplish great things. The Holy Spirit, we ask you to move swiftly in this, in this request, begin to show your people what you were saying, what you, what you were saying to them to do with what the followers let go. Lord God, they are, they are wanting to follow your word and to try the Spirit by you, Holy Spirit, to see whether or not it was God. Yes. God, let them see you. Yes. Not me, not the thing that they want, but let them see you. Yes. Yes. Let them hear you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Love somebody. Yes.